All right, I got a new case that I'm gonna try to convert for my bagpipes. These are my current cases plus the new one, which is the yellow one. This is my old bagpipe case. Well, technically, this is my old bagpipe case that my pipes came into when I got them from my uncle. But I used to be an electronic repairman, and this case was sitting at the shop and wasn't being used, so I was able to take it for free. And I used this um, my first several years of bagpiping. Uh, it has wheels, has a handle, and it's basically a freight case for shipping electronics and stuff. However, I modified it to fit my bagpipes. Of course, there's still stuff in here. Core Shrine hat, main Masonic textbook, tape, various CDs, old Crozer drone reeds, pipe cleaners, rag, old mouthpieces. Here, let's take a closer look. There's just a whole bunch of junk in here. But what I did was I cut this out Relined it, glued all this in, and created a spot to hold my drones. And then I had all my extra stuff in this little thing. Beeswax, old bagpipe CD, cassette tape. So that's my old case. So this is the case. Well, this is really my old, old case that came with my pipes. I got my pipes from my uncle. Again, this case was free. Um, I'm currently using this now because it's portable, it's small, and I like that. However, I like to go to bagpipe gigs prepared. So I have a lot of stuff that's being stored in this, and I don't really have a lot of room. My moisture control system, my band's bagpipe channer, my uh, solo bagpipe channer, my uh, practice channers, see, oh, two practice channers, More. my B flat channer, my original Dunbar channer that belongs to the pipes, mouthpiece. This is a new thing I got, it connects. You can put your tuner in it or you can put your phone in it so you can read bagpipe music. My McClens moisture control things, which actually, those actually can be thrown out, pipe cleaners pipe cleaners, my reed poker, my piper's third hand for tuning, obviously extra wax, reed case, more pipe cleaner, tape, drone extenders, beeswax, and my hemp stick going there. Drone stopper or corks, bay floor discussion stickers. I just have a lot of stuff. Hearing protection, lapel mic for when I'm playing and recording and tuning. I have uh, highlighters for when I'm learning a new song. I have paint markers so that I can mark my bagpipes and my chanters so that I can just easily insert them in the right place. A credit card knife, more hearing protection, more tape, extra reeds, more hearing protection, more beeswax, more reeds, drone reeds. My tool for my moose valve, pens obviously, hydration pack for my uh, for the tone protectors, I have extra batteries for the tone protectors, sandpaper, uh, dental uh, elastics, business cards, oh, alcohol wipes, I don't even know what this is, bagpipe band patch, permanent marker, more highlighters, then I have my band sheet music, then I have my own personal sheet music, and I have my firefighter flag and my American flag. I do not have my Irish flag in here. In fact, I'm not sure where it is. And then I have various clips. All of that is jammed Inside into there. this little case. I like that. I like having that extra stuff with me. However, I don't think it's necessary. So this is the case I got. I was watching Matt Willis Bagpiper and he did a review on the Pelican 1510 case. I was looking for it online and it was around 200, 250 bucks. I knew at one of my jobs that they had some extra Pelican cases. So I reached out to my boss, uh, Deputy Chief Lintu, and he said he had an extra case. I asked him how much. He said that I could just have it. 
Uh, this is actually the 1560, not the 1510, so it's a little wider. Um, but it's free, so I'm not gonna complain. Again, wheels, a handle that comes out. It's basically for zip. wheeling. So we already started working on this a little bit. Well, my son Bruce did. We started cutting out the interior to fit my bagpipe stuff. My Bruce cut these out that will fit my tenor drones and my bass drones quite nicely. If I could untangle it. He also cut out a spot for my solo piper channer and my band channer. And he cut out a spot for my mouthpiece. So all that fits nicely. At this point, there's limited room. We may cut out a pot spot here just to store my channer case. We'll see. But what I want to work on is this. I ordered a piece online that goes right here and it has pockets so that I could store stuff and not have it be on the bottom. So let's open this up. My credit card knife, this thing's pretty neat. Holds up, goes over, goes over. It's basically a knife that looks like a credit card. Looks like that screws. Yep, I need a Phillips screwdriver. So there this is. Large pocket, two small ones, and another large one. It looks like it goes like this. And then screws onto these little tabs. There it is, all installed. There, as you can see, it holds quite a bit of stuff. And I actually may condense some of this stuff into one thing. And if I wanted, I believe I could probably, if I condense these two into one container, I could put my B-flat channer right here. But does it fit? It does. Time will tell what I do with that. But there's that. I may keep this piece to kind of put over this. I'm not sure. And may cut a different spot for the B-flat channer. We will see. And then my bagpipes will just go right over I like hey, that. that. Be... Another good thing about this case is that it is waterproof. It is waterproof. He, 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 so, he can go underwater with it. We're not going to go underwater. We're not testing it. It's light. All you have to do is... I like it. We'll see how it does. I may use this case in combination with my old case. Use this to store my bagpipes in and this to travel and do quick gigs with. Oh, forgot my music. Can't forget so, music. we'll see how it goes. Doesn't actually need to be in here. All this stuff doesn't really need to be in here. But like I said, I like to be prepared. I was always taught one is none and two is one. So I like to have backups for my backup because Murphy's Law is whatever can go wrong will go wrong. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you like it. Click subscribe if you want to see more random goofy photos. Have a great day.